So today we're going to talk about step four of the race wizard, the giveaways. If you haven't seen step one, two, or three, we'll put a link in the video below and you can take a look at those videos there. So giveaways are pretty straightforward. Um, most times, uh, most races will set up giveaways, specifically t-shirts that they'll give to their participants for registering. The main thing to set up is uh, you just have to check on yes, that you want to offer a giveaway for the half marathon. Again, by default, we will put in that this giveaway is a t-shirt. Um, I would say 99% of the time, uh, the giveaway is a t-shirt, but if for whatever reason, your giveaway is not a t-shirt, you can change the giveaway description to whatever you want it to be. You can set up a stop collecting giveaways after date, meaning if I put in a date here of November 5th, 2025, that means any participants that register after November 5th, 2025, they will not be asked what their giveaway option that they want is. So be very careful with this setting. Um, this setting uh, is typically misused and we often get reports that um, uh, people aren't being asked their giveaway option, which is causing a lot of problems. So be very careful with this setting. Um, it is there in case you have a t-shirt deadline that you may need to give to your t-shirt supplier. But if you have, what we found is if you've been hosting uh, the same race over the you know over many years, you sort of have an idea of what your per participant numbers are going to be, and you can pre-order your your race shirts earlier. So typically, this setting is left blank. For taxable item code, obviously the giveaways are free, so you can typically leave this as default. There are certainly some situations where you may be upcharging. If you're offering a 4X um, size t-shirt, you may charge an extra dollar or two. In that case, make sure you're selecting the proper taxable item code. If you have an image of your giveaway, you can upload that image here. And then you can also add additional details about what the giveaway is. Maybe it's a dry fit shirt. Maybe it's a uh, custom shirt made designed by so-and-so. Um, whatever information you would like to share with your participants. By default, we'll add uh, four giveaway options uh, as far as these are basically sizes. So think um, giveaway sizes, sort of how I've always um, thought about these. So you've set up a giveaway, which is a t-shirt giveaway, and you're setting up sizes. So small, medium, large, extra large. Essentially, this will give participants the option to select what size t-shirt that they want. You can add additional giveaway options or sizes. And if you are charging an additional fee for specific sizes, you can set that up under the extra price option here. As Andrew just showed, you can use the up and down arrows to move giveaway options um, up and down on the order. And you can also use the trash can icon to delete um, giveaway options. So once you set up giveaways for one event, if you have multiple events, you can use this copy to other events. And you can say copy the half marathon giveaway options to the one to one marathon uh, event. That's a full marathon, Kevin. Math was not my specialty. And once you do that, all the giveaway options that you set up will be copied over to your one to one marathon. Full marathon. And again, uh, at the very bottom here, um, if you want to allow participants to change their giveaway options after they've registered, you can do that in the race dashboard um, once you've gone through the race wizard. So we've set up our giveaways and you can select save and continue.